hello guys you all are welcome to this channel today you are welcome this is a higher requested video for those that want to cut a pattern that want to cut clothes in their house they don't know how to do it that's why we are creating this pattern today more will still be coming start learning how to make your dress at home okay you can learn and be making for others too if today is your first time of coming here you are welcome please don't fail to hit that subscribe subscribe button that says subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when i upload my old subscriber i love you all contact me in here you all are welcome thank you so when you want to start measuring body like this you start from the the shoulder shoulder is from here to this end so i'm going to be taking the half end the same from the center to here which is seven or seven so because i didn't take it full will not plus it seven plus seven 14 so if you take it this way it will be 14 so if you take half of it it will be seven so i'm taking half of it because i'm plusing it later it will be seven so you write it down shoulder seven so from shoulder i take the sleeve if you want short sleeve to be here if you want long sleeve depends the way you mesh you, you want it that is the way you'll be measuring it but here she wants half sleeve so we are taking Mm. Eight here is eight, so sleeve is eight. So the round sleeve very important. You measure it, and when you are measuring it, you you take your hand inside. Let me show you an example like this. Let one of your finger be inside. You take it that way. So the round is level. After measuring the round, now I'm going to take the boss. You see, you start from the number one, you take it round, you still add your finger into the bust. So the bust is 33. Bust is 33. So you take the half bust, which is the under bust. Our under bust is 11. So if you are taking measurement this way, you know make mistake in level. Half bust this level so now we take the rank bust the rank bust is 27 you see i still take one of my finger inside it's 27 the rank bust is 27 so now we're going to take the full length if you well sorry we're going to take the length to the navel area which is the the uh, half waist so you take it and let it drop at the navel at the navel and the navel here is the navel you can call it the tummy length or the half waist length so it's a 16 i put it waist length 16 so you still need to take the range we need to get all the shape so the range is uh, 27 my hand is still inside 27 27 so now you need to take from the shoulder to the hip the length so so the hip is 22 hip measurement is 22 so you still need to take the round hip the round hip this way you put your hands inside so she's 34 round hip is 34 so that way if you want to take your full measurement so that is the way you will take it from your shoulder from the shoulder to the maybe you want to sew a gun you have to take it to the knee if you want it to be flat from the knee you take it to the knee and from there you take the full length okay when we get to that next time i'm going to show you that but now if you want to sew just a blouse this is the measurement you have you you will need to take okay if you want to take the sleeve you take it from the down and measure the range you understand for you to get the shape you have to take the bust so if you want to cut the dart you don't i cut the dart by eight but if you don't know for you not to make mistake you take the point of the bust here to the other point of the bust you just measure for you not to make mistake you see it's eight so me always take it by eight which is four divide by two is four but for you not to be confused you take it eight and if you are not sure of the length to the bust you can take it take from the shoulder to the bust point is eight okay so that is it 
So I'm going to be drawing the pattern at now so that you can see. If you don't know how to cut, you can start from this. Gradually, you will know how to cut. Because you need to practice in your house so that you will know how to do it. It's very easy. It's not difficult if you concentrate and if you tell yourself that you can do it. Let me show you how I cut the pattern. So guys, this is a pattern. It's just one straight one. So I have to fold it. I want to start cutting my dress. I fold it. What you will do is that you can use the bigger side. I use the hip. The hip is 34. A hip divide by 2. 34. You divide it by 2. When you divide it by 2, it will give you 17. So you will not take it out and fold it by 17. You will fold it by 17. So that we'll take allowance inside and up. Anything you don't understand, you just let me know. So you see, I take it by 17, here to here. So, the next part we are going to be doing, you'll watch the, the, the way we take our measurement. So now the first part you'll be taking, if you want to measure a dress, is that you measure, sorry, I have to, sorry, I have to wear the sleeve, I was having cold. So, the, the first thing you are, going to, you are going to be doing when you are cutting any type of clothes is to measure your shoulder. Okay? This is just normal basic body pattern. When you can cut this, you can cut any type of clothes. So, the shoulder is 7. Remember, the full shoulder is 14. So, 7, we take 7 here. You see? You add just half inch to it. So, from that shoulder you take length to your bust which is level you can measure from shoulder to the bust if you don't know okay so now to get the amp or which is the armpit to get it is your bust you divide your bust into six if you divide your bust into six you add 1.2 to it if you don't do that, you will use your shoulder length. You can use 7 to cut out your hump O. So, you divide 33, which is the boss, by 6, it will be 5.5. Plus 1.2, it will be 6.7. So, I'm going to be putting 6.7. So, from that 6.7, we draw a line. That place will be the chest. The chest line. Then we measure the, bust, the measurement of the bust. Measurement of the bust. So you want to cut the measurement of the bust. You divide it by 4. Take it divide by 4. 8.25. You take it out of that place. And you roll. After rolling it, you take it down to the armhole. Like this. So now that you are taking your armhole, you take your neck. We don't, we don't want the neck to be too wide. So you take Timmy up here. You take 1.5 down here. You rule. Which here will be the back? Here is going to be the back. So this place, you take half inch down. And take the neck and rule it down. So that the hamper will be curved. If you don't understand me, you can wash it and wash it over and over again. You will understand okay so now the armhole i mentioned the bust there which is 8.25 i'm going to be adding one inches to it if you want to sew you can add one or two inches to it you draw it down there so in the area of the armhole you put your tape inside of it and take one inches you just take it there and roll it it will be curved that way did you understand? So this is the bust line now. So we're going to be taking 8.25. 8.25. You add half inches to it. You take it to there. So now we are going to be taking the tummy area, which is the half length. Before we do that, we have to take the half bust. We have to take the half bust. The half bust is level. Remember, this is the bust. This is the bust. Here, this is the half bust. The half bust is level. So, 11. The half bust is level. We measure level. The run 
was 27. 27 divided by 4 is a 6.75. You measure 6.75 and add 1 inches to it to sew. You take it there. So are you getting it? So then, now we take the tummy area. The length to the tummy, you can call it the waist length, is 16. Which you are going to be taking here. 16. 16. If you have ruler, you can use it, but I'm just using manually. So 16. So that's 16. The round of it was 27, which is divided by 4, which is a 6.75. You take it again and put half length. You put half inch. So you take it from there to this place. It will give that place the curve. You see? So now, to the hip. The length to the hip is 22. 22. We take 22 here. Which is the full length of the blast. After we finish taking 22, the length of the hip is 34. 34 divided by 8. 34 divided by 4, sorry, is 8.5. You take 8.5. You have to add half inch to it to sew. So from there, you draw it down here. You draw it down here. You see the way the curve is. So now, if you want to take the dart of the, if you want to take the dart, simple way that I take my dart is you take from your shoulder down to 11. You can measure under your bust. Under your bust. So you measure your shoulder to under your bust. From under my bust is where I take my dart. So my dart, that is where I talk of the bust. You can measure the bust, the point of this bust to the point of the other bust if you don't understand it. Okay? So if you understand it, you just take it by 8. Some are 9, some are 8. So I'm taking um, 1.5, uh, 4 point, 4 and a half. So 4 and a half, remember 4 is in the other side, 4 is in the other side. You understand? So, after taking it, you roll it down. You roll it down. You take one inch from under your bust down and roll it down. And roll it up. You see? So, from there, you see, take the same. If you want it to go down, you can take it four and a half. Till you, you, you take the measurement down. But if you don't want it to reach the down, you can just leave it that way. You understand? So, the next is that you take here half inch and you take here half inch. But if you don't want to do this, it's not compulsory, you can easily just open it and sew it with the inches you want. You take here half inch and you take here half inch. You draw it this way and you take it this way. And from here, you take it this way, you take it this way. So there will be the the dart, the place you are going to be taking the dart. So that is it. Anything you don't understand, just let me know. Remember, this is the this is the back neck, the back neck, the front neck. We are going to be taking it down to four. We want it to be deep to four. Down to four. You just take it and curve it. Depends on the neck you want. So before we remove this and before we take this uh, out hole deep. In this way, we have to first take the back, use the front to cut the back. After cutting the back, you use the same front before you not trim here. So let me show you an example. This is the front. That is where we'll be cutting first. Anything you don't understand, just write for me and divide. I'm doing it, but I don't understand the this place, I don't understand this place. Just write it to me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you the way you will go. You know, this one, this pattern is very hard. So, you see, the way I'm cutting it now. The pattern is so strong.
So you see the dam, I'm going to be taking it out. You see, it's going to be this way. This way. So you remember this neck, this is the front neck. You understand? So this is the front hand hole, but this is the real back. Before you trim here to this place, and before you trim here, you have to take the same, the same material. I'm not going to be cutting it out, I'm going to show you an example. And fold it because this will not be enough. You fold it the same into two. Into two. When you fold it the same into two, you place it on top and leave you leave like two inches at the back because of the zip. You understand? You leave the two inches at the back because of the zip. You start cutting it. You cut it the same way exactly and open the back. So after doing that, you will now cut the front to the, the normal shape. Okay? So I know you will understand it, but gradually. Okay, and you will after doing it, you will use for example now. Okay, for example, now let me say I've cut the back like this. Maybe I'm I've cut the back. Okay, now let me say this one is, is the back. Let me just cut it out. When you are doing it, take your ruler and rule the zip area two inches. Make sure it's straight. Okay. So now we are going to be using this one to cut the back. You have to be easy so that you will not cut your hand. Gradually, when you are inside your house, they'll be doing it. Before you know, you will be a pro. You will be a pro. A home is not built a day, okay? What you don't know, don't be ashamed to say it out. I will help. I'm not a professional, but I know I can do better the way I will love. You understand? So, what you don't know, and you want to know, just... Write it on write it on my messenger. I'm going to show it to you. Any style you know it's difficult for you to cut. You don't know how to do it. You know, I will not just agree for you in this channel that every day will be so you know. But once in a while, you know, I do all sorts of things here. Once in a while, you can I can bring sewing. But if you have anything that is difficult for you that you want to cut, you can't do it. Just DM me, I'm going to do it. Okay. So now, let's just say, this is the back that I've cut at the back. You will open it. The place you are going to be putting the zip. Sorry. You open the place you are going to be putting the zip. Because it's a pattern, it's very strong. And what I've not, since you guys request for this video, I have not really did this video since then, is that there is no place to buy the normal material they used to cut them. The normal pattern they used to cut this. Because because of the season, they say they don't have it for now. So you see, maybe this this one is the back. You take it together when you are sewing. You see, here will be the zip. When you fold here inside, it will be the zip, and your dots will still come here. Very simple as A B C D. So after doing that, now we have cut out our back. Okay, now the front that we used to cut our pattern is now we want to get our front neck. If you want to do any type of neck, you can do it. Maybe you want to do like this. Maybe you want to do like this. You want to do that shape you can do it maybe you want to do this shape you can do it whatever shape you want to do and even here you don't want to cut the same material you want to maybe do it like breast tube maybe you want to do it like breast tube just take it from here and cut it and take it off and use this one to cut the neck and use this one to cut the body it's very simple guys it's very simple at first time you might look it like difficult but gradually you will know that it's not difficult the way you thought. You see, now the neck is deep. So now the amp hole, I have to put it normal the way I want it to be. Because you know the front amp hole has to be deep. So that it will not come and be having swelling in the area of the amp hole. So you see, this is the way it not turns to. So that is it guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Maybe part three or part two will be coming out through this video. Okay, bye bye. And this one, I want you to do it so that I know how far you are going. Okay, what you don't understand, just let me know. Remember, when you want to get your hand on, you have to measure your bust. Measure your bust by six and add one point two to it, or add two to it, or you use your shoulder because this place is very difficult for some people to get. Or you measure your armpit's rant. Okay, bye bye, guys. Take care of yourself. 
I told you that everything you people request, I will do it. It's just gradual, okay? Bye.